time to build new kits here. This is Cyber Hobby Dragon 109 Trop. This is the version that I wanted. It's an E. And it's pretty darn cool. So let's take a look at the sprues really quick. Some of the stuff that we got. So it's molded in that nice um, <clears throat> crisp dragon plastic that we all like so much. And uh, here's the fuselage halves. Lots of interior wall detail there. No flash visible. Wings we've got here, and it looks like they've got some interior detail here. Here's the uh, wing cannons there. They look good. Um, and the top of the wings here look pretty cool. A bunch of ailerons, other control surfaces, this is like all stuff for the cockpit, chair, all sorts of other stuff. So that's pretty cool. This little bag here. We've got a drop tank, won't be using that. Um, huh. Galand uh, periscope there, telescope actually. Um, wheels, tail, more engine parts, landing gear components, all that type of stuff. Dust filter. Galand uh, window. It's got the hole in there for the telescope. And crystal clear windows. They look excellent. Cowling engine components. Cockpit interior, firewall, all sorts of other stuff like that. And the engine, propeller, and other bits like that. We get some cartograph decals, and they look beautiful. Can't wait to use those. And photo which seat belts, hinges, control surfaces, that type of stuff. Two uh, frets of that, but uh, dragon etched metal is pretty nice, so I'm not too worried about it. This is the kind of the one I'm going to be painting. This is just Edward. I printed that last night. And dragon's typical instructions that I have to pay double attention to. So, let's get started building this cockpit. So these are all my parts that I have to uh, airbrush. This is the basic part of the cockpit assembly here. It, uh, I didn't film any of this stuff because it took me quite a while before I got it down uh, correctly. Here's the uh, ammunition boxes here for the front guns. This is the gun mount and the machine guns will fit on there uh, when I get to when this is all finished being painted. Um, control column here and the 
haven't glued the backing on yet, not till the uh, seat is, is ready. Here's the bucket seat, and this just fits in there. I haven't done anything yet on the seat um, because I have to put in the seat belts after this is painted and weathered up and stuff. Um, side walls are really impressively detailed. They've got all the detail in here that you would want. Even this little uh, tree here is indented, so if you wanted to, you could actually stuff maps and papers in there and it would look really cool. Um, then you've got a bunch of other little boxes and, and things like that, and they look really cool. Really, really nice detail. And then here's a couple other controls that uh, I will do, and uh, i got to finish them up. I just put on the chain, which I maybe shouldn't have done, but uh, I'll work around it. And um, the uh, instrument panels, these are going to be airbrushed, and then I'm going to go to work painting the dials before I put them in here permanently. It's just easier to work with. There's no decals for the dials, unfortunately. I thought there would be. Don't know why. But uh, work around it and I'm gonna paint them up. I've got an idea how to do it, so uh, that'll come soon. So I'm gonna airbrush the cockpit Tamiya Acrylic RLM Gray XF22. It's a good, seems to be the appropriate color. It seems that these ones in uh, Africa had a lighter cockpit color instead of a darker gray. So this should be suitable. But uh, that's how it's coming. It looks pretty good so far. So I'll be back after it's airbrushed. So now what I'm doing is I have the um, bottle of uh, Panoline accent color, it's enamel, and uh, what I'll do with it is uh, use just the brush and uh, paint it all on the inside of the model like this. And I'm not worrying about how clean it looks has dried I'll continue to paint this on it
ready to be painted. I just finished masking off and gluing down, temporarily gluing down the canopy, or cockpit actually. So they're all masked off there. Um, engine cowling is supposed to be removable, but I couldn't get it to work properly. It just seemed to be too flimsy. So I glued it all down, and then I found out that this was raised up too much. So I had to add in a bunch of uh, putty and file that all down. That took all quite a while to do. So a bit behind on this thing, but um, I'm slowly catching up. So now the next step, as I said, is airbrushing. And the uh, first thing I have to do is I have to paint the RLM gray onto the canopy frame. <clears throat> and then I have to use this. This is, um, I bought a box of these a while ago. These are just, um, cameo jars. You can buy them like this. They're clear. <coughs> so therefore, mixing up paint. And here I made a ROM 65, I think it was. That's um, XF23 light blue and XF2 flat white. It's two parts this, one part white, and it makes a very nice um, German uh, blue. So I'm pretty excited to get to try that out. And then um, for after that, I'll use desert yellow. It's basically, this is basically the color that they recommend that you use and uh, it looks pretty close for the green I haven't exactly decided the color to use yet for the green splotches yet I'm the debating between a couple but when I get there I will make up my mind so uh, it's time to get to work airbrushing so I've got to take apart the airbrush and clean it make sure everything works properly and then uh, start airbrushing blue. So, I'll show you that when that's all done. 